to see that you could make it. I'm Professor Gesser. Today, we're going to travel to some different places where we can look for numbers. We're going to look for numbers in neighborhoods, such as this. How many of you would like to explore some neighborhoods? Tug your ears if you want to help me. <laughs> Boy, you all look pretty silly doing that. But I'm glad so many of you want to help. All right, let's go hunt for numbers. The first place that we're going to visit is this neighborhood school. I bet we can find lots of numbers here if we just use our eyes to look around. Aha! Here are some numbers on this wall next to a classroom. Room numbers like these help you find your classroom. There are numbers inside a classroom, too. Clap your hands if you see numbers in this classroom. Did you clap your hands? There were numbers in the last picture. They're on this chart I'm pointing to. The numbers on this chart help you learn to count. Maybe you have some computers at your school. Can you see some numbers on this keyboard? Yes, they're on the keys to the right. In the school library, books are numbered so that you and the librarian can find the books you are looking for. If you are looking for a special book, you go to the proper shelf. Then you find the book by finding the correct number. Can you think of some other places in your school where there are numbers? Here's a hint. You might find some numbers outside on the blacktop. These painted numbers tell you where to put your feet on the hopscotch board. At the end of the day, you may ride home from school on a school bus. This school bus has some numbers on it. Can you think of a reason for having numbers on a school bus? Those numbers help you figure out which bus will take you to your home. If the buses didn't have numbers, you might get on the wrong one. Here are some more numbers. Do you know where these numbers are? If you do, raise your hand. I can see by your hands that I can't fool many of you. These numbers are on the back of a car, on the license plate. Cars, trucks, buses, and motorcycles all have license plates. Think of how many cars you see on the road each day. Numbers on license plates help police and other people to keep records of cars and who owns them. Along neighborhood streets, we may see many numbers. Here is a sign that tells drivers how fast they are allowed to travel. It is called a speed limit sign. Here is a sign with numbers that tell you the time. It was 1024 when this picture was taken. The numbers on this sign tell you the temperature, 79 degrees. Do you think that you would wear cool shorts or a warm winter coat when it's 79 degrees outside? If you answered shorts, you're right. When the air is 79 degrees, it is warm outside. The higher the number, the warmer the weather. Some streets are named with numbers. 
The red sign tells us that the name of this street is 4th Street. Street signs help us to find just the street we're looking for, and they can help guide us if we're lost. Once we've found the street, we need to find the correct house. That's why houses have numbers on them. You might find numbers on neighborhood mailboxes, too. Numbers on houses and mailboxes help postal carriers deliver mail to the right addresses. The numbers on this post office sign make up what is called a zip code. Each post office has a different zip code. Let's say these zip code numbers together. 78501. A zip code on a letter tells people who sort the mail which post office to send it to. Sending letters in the mail is one way that we can communicate with a friend. Another way that we can get in touch with someone is by telephone. To call up a friend, you need to know a special number. Your friend's telephone number. You dial or punch in the right number, and the telephone connects you to your friend. I know we can find other numbers in this neighborhood, if we just look carefully. Here is a neighborhood bank. Now, where would you find numbers inside a bank? That's right, on some paper money. People keep money in banks until they need to use it to pay for something. Behind me is a neighborhood shopping center. I bet that we can find plenty of numbers there and plenty of places to spend our money. These numbers in the windows are prices. The numbers on these signs tell you how much it will cost to buy beans, or lettuce, or bath tissue, or eggs, or two types of steak. You can find prices in this clothing store, too. If you look carefully, you can find numbers on tags inside the clothes that tell you how much the clothes cost and how big or small they are. This shirt is size 4. I bet that the clothes you're wearing right now have some numbers in them. The number on the inside of this new shoe tells you that it is size 5 and a half. Personally, I wear a size 15 shoe. Is my size 15 shoe bigger or smaller than the size 5 and a half? Yes, it's bigger. Professor Gesser has very big feet. Now let's see if we can find some numbers in this park. Do you see what I see? That boy is wearing a t-shirt with a number. What number is it? Yes, it's a nine. Numbers on shirts tell you who's who in a soccer game. Every player has a different number. Numbers on football shirts tell you who is playing. And numbers on a football field tell the players how many yards they are from their goal line. A swim in the neighborhood pool feels great on a hot summer day. The numbers on the side of the pool tell you how deep the water is, measured in feet. Can you tell how deep the water is? Yes, it's eight feet deep. When runners race, they usually wear numbers too, so that people can keep track of them. 
a neighborhood carnival. I wonder where we'll find numbers here. Oh, I see some numbers way up high on a Ferris wheel car. Can you see the number four on the Ferris wheel car? The numbers help carnival workers put the cars in the right order when setting up the ride. You might see some numbers on carnival games, too. If you play this game and the spinner lands on the number you've chosen, you could win a stuffed animal. We've seen that numbers are all around us, even in the least expected places. Now here are a few riddles for you. Listen, I am something with numbers that carries you from home to school and back home again. By the way, I'm big and yellow. What am I? Whisper your answer now. Did you whisper school bus? Good work. Okay, here's another riddle. I am something with numbers that help you to talk to your friend, even if your friend is far away. What am I? Did you guess the telephone? Now, listen carefully. This will be our last riddle. We're something with numbers that keeps mail safe and dry. If you open us up, you might find letters inside. What are we? Did you guess the mailboxes? Well, I've got to leave now. It's been nice having you along in my hunt for numbers. Remember, you can find them in some very unusual places if you just look carefully. Why, here's a number right here in the corner of this film strip frame. Hmm, number 58. That means the next one is going to be Number 59. That's the end.